OpenSUSE Leap 15.4 has recently released, and we're going to take a look at it. Now, in the OpenSUSE distros, there's Leap and Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed is your more rolling release, while Leap is your more stable release, like Ubuntu does, where they do like two releases a year, I believe. That's what Leap is, is this their more stable version. But you use all sorts of images you can download. I have it ready to go. Over 400 gigabytes of free hard drives. 40 gigabytes, that seems quite a lot. I think I can get away with the amount I allocated. So I have a, so I have a VM ready to go. Let's hit start. Let's see. let's see. Installation. Ooh, progress bars. You don't see those at all nowadays. Because why would you ever want to know that you're that something is progressing? Don't you just want to? See a circle just spin endlessly. There we go, we're now in installation, in the agreement, uh, next. Let's activate those repositories, you know, this was just released the day I'm recording this today. It should be fine. Let's see. Should be fine. For this is for your all proprietary software if you need those. There, now we want to select what we want. Now, since it's a desktop, we're going to do desktop with KDE Plasma because people say that's a really good version of it. So, we're just going to select that. Hit next. Disk. Let's see. So, one special thing about OpenSUSE is that they by default have root be with butterfs which in case you don't know butterfs allows you for have snapshots and i believe it's actually configured so that whenever there's an update it'll have a snapshot of the current version so if something breaks you can just roll back to the previous snapshot but, uh, let's hope that it works so i can give it we're not in New York, we're in Denver. Denver. Uh, let's create our account. Yes, and this is just for testing. Okay, I think everything looks good, and let's hit install. Okay, so just confirming that the hard disk can be modified. Now let's hit install. Uh, oh, okay. Back was just highlighted by default. Now we just wait. Alright, it's done. Now it's going to do a countdown until it reboots. We're just going to OK. 
and let it reboot. There we go, we're now in OpenSUSE KDE Plasma. Now, I don't think I really want it to log us in immediately, but yeah, that should be, oh. Um, all right, it does not like me messing with the uh, display resolution. Um, okay. So I can't do like a, uh, Do not S nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Alright, I guess I can't do that either. So um alright. Cool. We're gonna have to look at this horrible small screen. But but uh yeah, this is that's how you install OpenSUSE, and I believe the main thing that makes OpenSUSE special is you want it's YAST. If I open up there briefly, so the YAST control center is it allows you to do system administration stuff. I've never looked at it before, so I guess we could learn as we go through. So. Let's see, software, um, products, uh, okay, like you can manage your repositories from there, you can mess with the keyboard layout, set under scanners, sound, network settings, partitions, proxy, so it's like an all-in-one uh, control panel, I guess, for managing, which I blew. Managing. Interesting. Turn it is. So, we can see. So these are the categories. You can manage your system snapshots. And... Yeah, I wonder. Jump to the leap packages or not? So let's see. What was the package manager called? It's like yum. Well, that was a quick look at OpenSUSE Leap. There isn't much since it's just a normal release cycle release, and I can't change the screen resolution. So, uh, like, come subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment if you are really good at YAST or whatever, and or can figure out, tell me to set the resolution properly. Um, follow me, Mastodon. Uh, I think that'll be it. Have a nice day.